those of you that don't know me, I'm Erin Schwartz, owner of Stacked, and we have an amazing guest with us today, Casey Lackey. This is our first of hopefully many episodes of In Between the Tears. It's very serious. Where you get to get to know, <laughs> we get to get to know yes, another yes, side yes. of cake deckers, and we do it in one take, so you get to get to see things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lord save you from my mouth. Dun dun dun. <laughs> All right, Casey All right. Lackey, Casey and Lackey, Anna. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Anna. How did you get started in the cake industry? Sheer accident. Um, I was working as a makeup artist in New York, mm -hmm. and I used to always watch the Food Network channel and like love like chocolate week for Valentine's Day and love watching Challenge. And then yeah. one day, I just got this like random idea in my head that was like, I could do that. Yeah. It's like sculpting with cake. And <laughs> if you look really hard on the internet, you can actually see the first cake I ever made. It was terrible. It's, I'm gonna it was, I'll, I'll get it for Aaron. Um, I still can't pipe. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of started doing it. I was like, it was fun. And then like making it for one person, turning into making it for friends, turning to make it for 10 friends, which yeah. suddenly I'm like quasi running a business out of my New York apartment. Yeah. And then, I moved back to Nashville and decided to actually like give it a try. Like, like let's see, maybe I can have a job as a cake person. And then, yeah, that was in 2006. So it's almost my 10 year anniversary of being Aww. a cake decorator. <laughs> Cheers, congratulations. Cheers. I finally don't have to lie about how long I've been making cakes. If you ask people, I've been saying I've been making cakes for 10 years for like eight 10 years. years. <laughs> for like eight years. 10 years. <laughs> Before it was eight years and nine years, so like, yeah, technically it's my faux 20th anniversary. <laughs> well, congratulations for that, too. Mm -hmm. I'll check to that again. Mm -hmm. I had a couple people do the math, they're like, so you've been making cakes since you were 18? Yeah. I'm like, totally. totally. It's like when people are older and they're like, oh, it's my 21st birthday for the 96th time. <laughs> yeah, or my, as I call it now, it's my 30 faux birthday. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> do you have a favorite cake that you've made? Oh, that's like asking me if you a favorite kid. Yeah, you know, a lot of people can do that. I mean, I don't have, I don't have a kid, so... Um, <laughs> oh, bugger. Or just one that was special, even if it was recent. Oh, like, of my carved cakes, my favorite one is still the life-size tiger we did for the Woodland Park Zoo. They yeah. have a thing called Jungle Party every year, and we made one one year. And it wasn't like, the cake was awesome and memorable, but it was also the process with him mm -hmm. was that... That week, it was the first really hot week in Seattle, and we don't have air conditioning in Seattle. Good. Like, our shop is under air conditioned. So, I reversed my <laughs> schedule. So, I was working, instead of working from like 9 to 6, I was actually working from like 8 p.m. until like 4 or 5 in the morning and going yeah. home because it was cool and I had the doors open. But, like, after the third night of this, yeah. um, the tiger started talking to me yeah. in French. And telling me, you give us an example of what he would say like, in French. Ah, uh, je suis Jacques Le Tigre. Oh. Tu es garbage, you terrible. Because it wasn't just that he was talking to me in French, he was telling me how much I sucked in French. <laughs> me too. He was like, You're the, you call yourself King Decreta. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was just, I, I remember like when he, like, I was like, I think I might be delirious. I should. Love it. Because I was hand painting his stripes, like I'd airbrushed them, and at this point when he started talking to me, I was hand painting all these tiger stripes, and it just took forever. And I was like, I think I'm going insane. And then he just starts talking to me. He's like, You are insane. You are insane. In that like, <laughs> like the and like French people don't talk like that, and I realized that. But in my head, he was like Pippi Le Pew of tigers, and that's why his name became Jacques Latif. Because he didn't tell me his name was Jacques, but the next day I'm telling my sea of interns, and I'm like, Tiger was talking to me last night when I was painting him. Yeah. And they look at me like I'm crazy, and I'm like, oh, I told you guys I was crazy. Like, mm -hmm. You knew this from the start. I hear voices. It's okay. We all did. Well, at least I do. Uh, <laughs> all the best people do hear voices. <laughs> all right. All right. So, quick summary. If you just use a few words, how would you describe your style of cake decorating? <laughs> Not your clothes. <laughs> um... Casey likes metal. <laughs> That's fitting. Okay. <laughs> if you were a cake decorator, what would you do for a living? 
Uh, I would say my backup career would be a sommelier, because um, being paid to drink would be awesome. Delicious. I will support that career. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm constantly trying to figure out what would I do, because yeah. I constantly think I'm becoming irrelevant, and that my yeah. career, and then it's going to disappear. Like, that's my, I'm always like, I have to do better. I have to top myself, because I have no other useful skills. <laughs> oh, oh, that kind of goes into this question. Do you have any hidden talent, or what is your best dance move? Oh, I can dance. I fall down. My my best dance move is um, Casey Falls, or the or the Falls. or the white man's overbite. Oh, that's a winner. That's um, a good one. <laughs> secret skills. I can sing. Like I've most, heard, of, I've heard that. Most of my students know that because I tend to sing at them the yeah. entire class and like. Here's a career. I can't whistle though. Mm, you're worse than me. I'm not that good, but sometimes I can. I can okay, I can do like the one oh, note when I suck in. Sometimes it whistles. I can't do it that way. I have to... Oh, see here we go. That's I, just have to, I just have to suck in, and I can't remember who I was around that I said that. I just said it the most like unknowingly inappropriate. I'm like, oh my god, when I suck, it sounds so much better. That was terrible. Yeah. I think there's a good moment to um, sound like. I'm trying to think like any other like weird secret. I am an awesome DIYer, but that's not really, that kind of goes along with the territory. Um, I'm good at bar trivia. I am a, And like, songs. Yeah, I, I have like a weird memory that I remember song lyrics and random facts that serve me no other purpose except to win bar trivia. I think this is a good one for you to share. Yeah, okay. Other jobs that you had outside of the food industry, do wait we, for this one. Do we want to start at the very, very beginning? The yeah, very, just, like, very, just like a bullet point. It's a very good place to start. Um, so I got my first job when I was 13 as a groom at a horse farm oh. because I, yes, not a, not a wedding <laughs> groom. Uh, I grew up doing show horses and that job evolved as eventually where I had my horse boarded was a breeding farm. And I worked as a groom at said breeding farm. And with that, like uh, sometimes I had to assist with um, the breeding. Procreating process. The, the process of procreation. <laughs> I don't know if this should turn into a conversation about the birds and the bees, but no. let's just say like I've been up close and personal with some horses. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Good one. <laughs> um, I'm like, that's it. <laughs> and then from there, uh, I worked as a dog groomer, hmm. uh, a bather brusher at PetSmart. And then I was a car hop at Sonic for like five years. Fine. And then I worked as a, a bartender, uh, a makeup artist, Within that, um, dead people don't freak me out, so I did some mortuary makeup, or like, assi I assisted. I, I can't say like I was a lead, but like I helped out because they just, I was like, it was, I was broke at the time and I was poor, and I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't. If I don't. you did it, you did it. You did it. Um, and then I was an esthetician, actually. Nice. I like to squeeze zits, I love gross things. Oh my god, blackheads are my favorite thing. My ex-husband had one on his back that I called Old Faithful because it was all, like, whenever I was like, I need to squeeze something gross, it was there. Yeah. This is between the two. Oh, God, what's your favorite food? That was a terrible <laughs> I'm, like, getting it. <laughs> what's your favorite food? This is my favorite food. Um, oh, bread. Bread. Like, really good Fresh. crusty bread with um, European like Normandy style butter and fleur de sel. That or steak. Those are probably like the two things that I like. Yeah. Just mm, and citrus. Just, what's and your least favorite? Raw onions and mayonnaise. Mm. Those so are, Joe's breath was pretty yeah. terrible before. I, I don't. Joe ate onions. I, okay, so I don't, it's not that I dislike mayonnaise. I only like mayonnaise if I make it myself. But raw onions just taste like formaldehyde to me. And I know what formaldehyde tastes like because <laughs> And that you Yeah. <laughs> Apparently humans taste like bacon. Did you know that? I've heard What's that. something you love to do in your spare time? <laughs> what is the spare time you speak of? I've heard yeah. of this concept of <laughs> no. <laughs> what makes you laugh at that question? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Previous question. Now, um, right now I just bought a house, so all my copious amounts of free time are yeah. going towards renovation. <laughs> That works. Well, so what makes you laugh? Myself. <laughs> no. I can tell. Um, She's my, not lying about that. Uh, I laugh a 
a lot of things. Like me yeah. and my roommate are hilarious together. Like my roommate Megan and I just yeah, we just laugh. We, we call something. We just need cameras around. Um, yeah. There was a very funny spider incident. Oh. My roommate is terrified of spiders, and I don't exactly find them like warm and fuzzy right. either. Because they're not. Because I don't like bugs, and when they jump at me, it freaks me out. It's not that, that they exist. I'm like bugs exist, but, but when they're they're they like, like yeah, and I'm like ah, don't scare me. And so there was one time, and I, I literally almost peed myself laughing so hard mm -hmm. that there was a spider, and there was a spider on the ceiling going towards Megan. And Megan's like, get it, get it, get it. And I was like, we're gonna catch you with these because I feel bad killing spiders because right. they're just trying to do their job. Right, they're staying warm. And they're like, oh, hey, right here. And I was like, Megan hates spiders. And so I put a glass over said spider. Yeah. And then it started like jumping around, freaking out the glass. And I was like, it's too late. I'm gonna get on me. I'm gonna get it. And like we're literally like, squealing and dancing. And eventually, like, I, Megan got me a piece of paper. <laughs> it You're was like done. Yeah, that makes me laugh. Um, yeah, I just, I think I'm in generally kind of like, a, I'm a kind of a jolly person. I like to laugh. I enjoy that about you. Yeah. I don't, I don't take it too seriously. It's like, 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 to being jolly. Yeah, I'm jolly. <laughs> All right. What makes you cry? Any movie where a dog dies. Oh, God, that was terrible. <laughs> um, no, I have random fits of like uncontrollable sobbing sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but the worst one, the other day I was watching a terrible movie but The Age of Adeline because I've got an old dog. Like my dog is 16. Oh. So like anytime I was like, I was like, <laughs> and then I'm like cuddling my dog being like, don't die. It's terrible. Yeah, that, but that, that's consistently, I'm not really a big crier. Yeah. It's just like moments of like, I'm gonna die alone and dog dying in movies and I'll sob like a small child. Marley and me, I was in a theater. Uh, oh no, the worst one was Frank and Weenie. Oh, like, it's an animated Tim Burton movie and they kept killing the dog. And I was like, no, killing the dog. It's crazy. I love it. <laughs> it was horrible. And it was a wiener dog, and I have a wiener dog. Like, it's too on. similar. Too similar. It was too animated. Too much Reanimated, actually. <laughs> Many times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your favorite word? Balls. <laughs> Good one. No, actually, my Good. favorite word to say is guava. 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 <laughs> you have to throw your You have to say, like, guava. say it in your throat. Guava. But no, the word I say the most, like, I, my expletive of choice these days to be, like, PG is balls. I'm always like, balls. balls. It's effective. Least favorite word. Oh, you're gonna make me say it, aren't you? Panties. <laughs> Except to say panties, it's fine. It is. The panties? <laughs> no, I'm uncomfortable. Okay, it ends, it ends well. Okay. So who inspires you? Oh, that's like, in the cake world, um, Karen Perleo. Just, I'm like, <laughs> I want to be Karen when I grow up. Um, I want to be Mike McCary when I grow up too, we're Ron. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like Karen, Mike, Ron, um, Doc Cleric is amazing, yeah. uh, Mayan. I, uh, there's too many people, like yeah. Liz and Avalon, all these guys, like, I see that, I'm just like, ugh, he's me. <laughs> me. <laughs> You're better than I am. Oh, and Margie Carter from Australia. She's, she's fantastic. She's awesome. She's Have you met her? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've had Margie in class. Like, apparently there was a class that I taught in Australia, because I'm completely oblivious to everything. I mean, I'm just like, I don't who you are, what? <laughs> and in this class, one of my students was freaking out, because apparently, like, five or six, like, big name Australian decorators were in the class. It was Fun. at Hagen's house, and Margie was in it. Yeah. And I just thought Margie was lovely, and then, like, she took Higgins and, like, turned him into, like, this, like, wearing a boob shirt thing, and he was holding, like, a heart for Valentine's Day and a reindeer head for Christmas. And she, like, had fun with him for many, 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 many months. We love you, Margie. Cheers to Margie. Margie. I was with her when she had her first Margie Rita. Margie. <laughs> <laughs> um, one word. Keep it to one word now, please, <laughs> to describe yourself. Kooky. I'll take it. <laughs> Last question. <laughs> oh. Serious. This is in between the tears of serious here. Super serious. We don't have fun. Super serious. We don't have fun at all. No. I'm trying to hear that. Last but not least, what is the best piece of advice The one in life, whether it's your favorite quote or just like your experience in life, like oh, failure is an option. <laughs> failure is always an option. <laughs> <laughs>
No, like I come like that's like a new thing that I've gotten to because right. it's okay to be like this. Is it's okay, right. like it's okay to admit like or just to fail. Like people, people think it's how I got to where I am. Like I came tried up, things. I like I tried and had cakes fall over. Like I was building structures, being like, how can I make this work? And yeah. it didn't work. When something doesn't work, you learn. Yeah, you're like, okay, that didn't work. Next. Right. And now, like, I do, I do pretty well now. Like, I haven't had a cake that I was like, well, that sucked. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of known for being like structure. But, no, but like structure. But like now, it's gotten to the point where for a while there, I'd make structures. I would like have to make it once and like adjust things and be like that. And right. now I like I haven't had like, to like I, it just works right off the bat. Right. And I'm like, huh. I mean, I made a cake recently that I was kind of like, what is that, Casey? What is that? You fail. Um, but it's okay. To fail. It's okay to fail. Um, yeah, that's probably the best thing, especially in this industry. People want it to be perfect the first time, and they don't seem yeah. to understand that. They're scared to try. They're scared. To, like they get, they're scared to try because you don't want to fail. Yeah. But then you don't get right. the confidence that you need to push yourself because you haven't had to like work out the brain puzzles. Yeah. You gotta work out the brain you puzzles. You gotta suffer. Suffer for your art. Be an artist. Yeah, it's, it's just like, yeah, failure is an option. Like, I like it. Because you always hear people like, failure is not an option. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> Fail watch me. Watch me fail. Sit back, watch me flail. <laughs> I enjoy it. That's I really fail. Yeah. Failure is not an option. Cheers to that. I feel very, I feel very Confucius to go. Mm -hmm. Failure you must be. Very wise. You should write fortune cookies. You got the worst. There's your new job. I got the worst <laughs> fortune cookie the other day. <laughs> we'll leave that as like the dun 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 dun. What was your fortune cookie? Leave everyone hanging. Well, thank you, Casey. Of course, Eric. For being our first and most wonderful guest so far. Yes. <laughs> I'm number one. Remember that. <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys for watching In Between the Tears. Until next time. More more cheers and more cheers. Bye. <laughs>